ABI is a manufacturer from Germany which has produced over 1400 multi-purpose rigs that have many different attachments for many different jobs. This video looks at the vibropile. A vibropile is generated by vibrating a probe into soft ground, thereby displacing all the material in its path. The vibropile can be used to produce piles, vertical tie downs, and stone columns. To see how it works in practice, let's look at some job sites. The first job was 600 vertical tie downs in Sacramento, California. ABI manufactured the probe to suit job site conditions and requirements right here in our own yard in California. To seal the probe, sacrificial tips were used. This probe has ribs welded to its head to increase the friction area for the vertical tie down without increasing the tube diameter. The primary advantage of a vibropile is speed. It took no more than two to three minutes to vibrate the six inch diameter probe 50 feet into the ground. Once pile depth was reached, the winch picked up the rebar and lowered it into the probe. A lid that could be locked and sealed was provided with an entry port for grout and an exit port for the air it displaces. A ball valve was positioned at the exit port to seal the lid and pressurize the grout at the tip of the pile and to fill the void while extracting the probe. The average production time was 10 minutes per vertical tie down, a more than six fold increase in production compared to traditional tie down rigs. The main contractor was concerned about vibration and noise levels in downtown Sacramento. However, due to the crowd of the rig and the variable moment hammer, the probe was pressed in the first 20 feet and then the hammer was set only at 30% of capacity. This resulted in low vibration and noise levels throughout the project.
Sometimes there are surface layers where displacement of material is slow or impossible. In such instances, the probe is vibrated without a sacrificial tip first, and the material is plugged in the casing and vibrated out on the surface. Then the sacrificial tip was positioned, and the process continues as usual. Fibro piles can also be made with a valve at the bottom of the probe rather than a sacrificial tip. Grout or concrete is pumped into the ground and then the reinforcement is lowered into the cast in situ pile. Vibro piles have also been made using an I-beam as the reinforcement and the probe. A rectangular sacrificial tip displaces the material around the I-beam as it has been driven down. Attached to the beam is a tube that pumps concrete to the pile tip. At the surface, a small square casing is vibrated in first to contain the concrete and maintain a positive artesian pressure against the groundwater. This means that the pile displaces the material and replaces it with concrete as it vibrates down. The square casing and the grout tube are recovered and reused. If vibration isn't allowed, we can also rotate a tube with a lost tip or valve, which displaces all the soil just like a vibro pile. For more information on vibro piles, please contact ABI, your partner in civil engineering projects.